Today, we're going to look at editing with the Narbox 2.0 and LumaFusion 2.0 on an iPad Pro. Let's go! What's up everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here. Today I wanted to show you how you can use the Narbox 2 to edit in LumaFusion 2. There's some really good integration here. The first thing you need to do is turn the Narbox on and then you're going to connect to it. You can see here it's Phil Narbox. It creates a Wi-Fi network and you connect directly to the Narbox. And then you can go into the app called SafeKeep which allows you to be able to manage files, but you can also simply do it by inserting an SD card into the NAR box if you want to back everything up. And you can see now that there's a backup now, and just with one tap of a button you can back it up. But here I want to copy files to the SSD drive. So you can see I've got the SSD drive and now here is my SD card. It's from a Sony camera, RX100. So I want to go through and grab some clips for a vlog that I want to edit. In this particular case just as an exercise to show you kind of what the process would be. You can see I've got a bunch of different files here scrolling through and you can copy any of these over or all of those over if you want to do a full backup. I'm just going to tap on the select button here and that will allow you to be able to select multiple files. You can see I'll just grab these three files here and then we can tap on copy and that will allow you to be able to copy to a destination. As you can see you select your destination I'm going to the SSD drive and I'm going to create a new folder called vlog here and I want to copy those files into that new folder. So tap on the new folder that was created and then we're going to paste those or copy those files in there. So what we can do is go back in, look at the extreme SSD and you can see that the file is copied over here. I'm going to do this, leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes to copy those three files over. And you can see the file sizes as well. So the Narbox is really, really quick now. And this is connected via Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have an iPad Pro USB, you can actually connect it hardwired and you'll get, get much better throughput. But even still, that was a, a three quarter of a gig file, half a gig file that's been copied over, and now another half a gig file copied over again. And this is in, in real time, so it copies pretty quickly. And then you can prepare these video previews, which is a great step to do. So preparing the previews will allow you to be able to more easily scrub through when you get into LumaFusion. So you can see with those three files, I'm going to create those video previews for those three files. And then once we get into LumaFusion, the performance will be much better than if you don't. So with those created, tap on OK. And now we're going to go into the LumaFusion app. So in LumaFusion you can see that there's a Narbox listed. You can tap on the Narbox and that will connect to the Narbox inside of LumaFusion and show you the files that you have available. And you can see that I've got those three files in the vlog folder. Tap on each one of those and since we created those video previews you can actually scrub through this. You can set your beginning and end points of your in and out points and Narbox will just copy over the parts of the file that you marked in and out so it doesn't copy the entire thing over like some other solutions might do. Then tap on the second file and again you can see I'm scrubbing through. These are 4K files, 4K 24P. It does a really good job of allowing you to scrub through once you create those video previews. So once it's done you can just get your in and out points marked and then you can see that it's downloading one file and now it's downloading two files and as the files download you can actually go into the particular files and do different things like look at sound, you can look at color grading which I'm going to do here so basically while it's downloading I, I can still do the color grading. You won't be able to scrub through it easily or quickly because it's still downloading but basically I'm going to go here and just make some corrections. These aren't corrections that I would necessarily make on every clip but I'm going to add some saturation. This was filmed in HLG. So I want to up the saturation, up the contrast, make the file look presentable. Again, I'd probably spend more time on this if I were really doing this, but this just for a demonstration, you can see that as the file is downloading in the background, you can color grade it and then you can actually copy those attributes over. So if you have clips that you think you want to look the same and you can see the files are downloaded now. So that was pretty quick. I can go into that second file and assuming I want to use the same color grade, 
you can basically just tap on the color and effects and then there's a clipboard there and you just select the effects that you want. In this particular case I just want the color grade and tap on that and then again you can scrub through now that the file has downloaded you can scrub through and see what it looks like. So that's just the kind of the quick color grading that you might do. You can also edit these videos now pretty much in any way because they're locally copied down to to your iPad. So if you want to go through and let's say look at the sound, change the sound, you can certainly do that as well. So you can see here I've got the clip selected. All I want to do really for this is just raise the volume, but there are other things that you can do as you can see here with the sound through LumaFusion. So I'm going to just raise the volume and you can see your volume levels on the left hand side. So that will show you if you're peaking and basically you just want to get the sound tweaked to where you want it to where the levels look good and again you can copy any of these attributes over so if you have the clips like these two are the same clips same microphone you can again just copy the attributes over for sound this time and paste them and you'll have that you can see the volume level went up to 7.7 .7. and then if you need to fine-tune it from there you can certainly fine-tune it and that's pretty much it from an editing perspective. This was more about showing the integration. And then from here you can actually export the movie and you can export the movie right to the Narbox, Narbox which is great. It will do it in this case wirelessly since we have a Wi-Fi connection. But you want to get all your settings straight and then you see it gives you the file structure of the Narbox. And again I'm going to copy this over to the SSD that's attached. I'm going to copy that back to the vlog folder. And then it's going to start. I'm going to speed this up for you, but this basically took writing the movie. It's it's about real time. So if it's a two minute movie, it takes about two minutes to record or so or to to render. So this is just kind of writing the movie for you to the iPad, and then from the iPad, it's going to copy over. And it does copy everything over to the iPad from the Narbox, and then renders on the iPad. And now once that's done, you can see that it's going to upload the movie over to the Narbox and this process will be sped up as well. Basically you can see that it's trying to connect to the Narbox and then once the connection is made it's going to start to upload that movie and you'll see here in a second that the upload starts. Again I'll, I'll speed this up but this entire thing took a minute and 32 seconds to upload the movie and you can see it's 1.6 gig basically. And that's it. Once once you've got this copied over, you'll be able to, to go back onto the Narbox. You can go back into the SafeKeep app here. So open SafeKeep. We're going to navigate from the SSD over to that folder that we created, which is the vlog folder. And then you can see there's that vlog MP4 file, 1.6 gigabyte file, which is what was created. And now from the Narbox, you can play through it, which is kind of like scrubbing. So you can see here the video is kind of choppy. There's also an option to stream. And when you start streaming, it will download the file. And you can see I've sped this one up too. Again, this takes a little bit. But basically, once that's done, you'll be able to play the file. Hope you enjoyed this. Get out there and have your photo gear fun. And I will talk at you again in the next video.